Are you looking for the best tablets with keyboards? In this video, we will look at some of the 6 best tablets on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. Samsung Galaxy Tab S8. The Samsung Galaxy Tab S8, Galaxy Tab S8 Plus, and Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra are the best Android tablets on the market. For all three models, Samsung offers two types of keyboards similar to Apple. A thin keyboard case and a better, but also more expensive keyboard cover, whose keyboards are more similar to the Surface Pro 8 and Apple Magic Keyboard. Thus, they are also the best Android tablets with keyboards. Similar to the iPad Pro, I think the Galaxy Tab S8 tablets are better pure tablets than the Surface Pro 8. What is cool here is that we get Samsung's DeX desktop mode, which also makes the tablets feel more like laptops. However, the processor performance is noticeably weaker than Apple's. As mentioned, there is a keyboard case for the three tablets, which is okay for occasional work. It is quite thin and lacks a touchpad, but it is also cheaper. More exciting for working, however, are the Samsung book cover keyboards, which have pretty good keyboards and built-in touchpads. Here we get a separate back with a folding stand that can be used without a keyboard. The keyboards for the 12.4-inch Galaxy Tab S8 Plus and the 14.6-inch Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra are about the same size as on the Surface Pro 8 and typical laptops. Of course, it is much smaller on the 11-inch Galaxy Tab S8 just like on the 11-inch iPad Pro and many other tablets. I like 11-inch devices because I like to use them as a secondary device and they are lighter, which is why I like to take them to the cafe sometimes. A Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor provides decent performance, which has access to 8GB, 12GB, or 16GB of RAM, and the internal storage is between 128GB and 512GB. Versions with 5G are also offered by Samsung. While not as good as the iPad Pro, the performance is good enough for intensive multitasking, Samsung DeX, and even the latest games. The 12.4-inch and 14.6-inch Super AMOLED display with deep black levels are especially great. That is why the Galaxy Tab S8 Plus and Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra are especially suitable as entertainment tablets. The Galaxy Tab S8, on the other hand, has a classic 11-inch LCD. All three support 120Hz just like Apple and Microsoft. In this case, the S Pen stylus is included and does not have to be purchased separately. At Number 2. Apple iPad Air. The Apple iPad Air is an excellent alternative to the iPad Pro, especially if you want to save some money and can do without a few features. It's very similar to the 11-inch iPad Pro with its 10.9-inch display, and the Apple M1 chipset is even the same. The Air also works with the same Apple Magic Keyboard and Smart Keyboard Folio. That's right, so the keyboard experience from the iPad Air is just as good as the 11-inch iPad Pro. The software is also identical and the build quality is almost the same. It is just a shame that Apple does not offer a 12.9-inch version of the Air. The difference between the Air and the Pro is the slightly smaller 10.9-inch display, which is also slightly darker with 500 nits. It also only supports 60Hz instead of 120Hz, so it looks like the Apple Pencil 2 does not react as smoothly. However, it is also the same pencil. Otherwise, you have to live without Apple Face ID, but a Touch ID fingerprint scanner is built into the power button. As mentioned, the same Apple M1 chipset from the Pro runs inside. There is also 8GB of RAM and 64GB or 256GB of internal storage, depending on the version. There are no more storage options, but 5G can be chosen when buying it. The performance is still great for all games, and the Air is also more powerful than the Surface Pro 8 and Galaxy Tab S8. At Number 3. Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 FE. The Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 FE is considerably cheaper and thus not a premium device but a mid-range tablet. You can see it as a cheaper and slimmed-down version of the Galaxy Tab S8 Plus. The display here is also 12.4 inches and it works with the same keyboards as the S8 Plus. If you want to work properly with an Android tablet, you can do so almost as well on the S7 FE as on its more expensive brother. 
Samsung thus also offers two different types of keyboards for the Galaxy Tab S7 FA. A thinner keyboard case without a touchpad, which is more for occasional tasks. Then there is the book cover keyboard with a built-in kickstand, a decent-sized keyboard, and a touchpad. You can also turn on the same Samsung DeX desktop mode. However, we do not quite get the top quality of the S8 Plus and the rest. We only get a simple 12.4-inch LCD screen instead of a Super AMOLED panel. 120Hz is also not supported, but only the usual 60Hz. However, the S Pen stylus is included and works almost as well. Due to the 60Hz screen, it just looks like it does not react quite as fast. Samsung Notes remains, though. A Qualcomm Snapdragon 778G processor ensures sufficient performance in the Wi-Fi version, and a Snapdragon 750G chipset is installed in the 5G variant. In addition, there is up to 6GB of RAM and 64GB or 128GB of storage. The performance is good enough for normal applications and most games. However, demanding games like Fortnite cannot be played with the highest graphics settings. The software is almost the same as in the S8 Plus and I assume that the S7 FE will also be supplied with updates for a long time. We even get a high-quality metal casing but a fingerprint reader is missing and the speakers are not quite as good. At Number 4. Lenovo Duet Chromebook The Lenovo Duet Chromebook is a pretty exciting choice. In most points, it plays in the lowest league. The 10.1-inch display is okay, but the gaming performance in particular is pretty weak. However, the tablet is exciting because it is one of few Chrome OS tablets and especially because the keyboard cover is included and that at a price of around $250. Due to the low price and the keyboard, it offers a great price-slash-performance ratio in my eyes, especially for students. As mentioned, the keyboard cover is included and works similarly to the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8. So there is a back with a built-in flip stand that you can use without the keyboard. Then there is the keyboard, which connects via a magnetic connector. Due to the 10.1-inch display, it is not as big as a large laptop, but with some time you can get used to it and then write quite neatly with it. The touchpad is quite small, but there is a touchscreen. Since Chrome OS was not developed specifically for tablets in the beginning, but rather for laptops, you can use it wonderfully with a mouse and keyboard. However, Google has also improved the touch interface, so it can now also be a solid tablet. Conveniently, the Google Play Store is pre-installed, so you can also use Android apps. The Lenovo Duet Chromebook does not have much to offer in terms of performance. Inside is a MediaTek Helio P60T processor with 4GB of RAM and 64GB or 128GB of internal storage. The performance is roughly comparable with a Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 Lite or Lenovo Tab P11. So, it is more powerful than the cheapest entry-level tablets. But particularly intensive multitasking is not possible and I do not recommend it as a gaming tablet either. What's cool, though, is that Chrome OS gives you a real, full-fledged desktop browser with Chrome. Namely, exactly the Chrome browser that we know from Windows PCs and Macs. This means that all web apps work. The display is OK. We get a 10.1-inch screen with a full HD resolution of 1920 by 1200 pixels. With 400 nits, it is not as bright as the Apple iPad 9, but that is still sufficient. The speakers are only okay for movies and series. The same is true for the USI stylus. It works, but I cannot recommend the Lenovo Duet Chromebook especially because of the stylus. Although it is so cheap, the casing is partly made of metal. Otherwise, we have to do without premium features like a fingerprint reader. At Number 5. Apple iPad 9. The Apple iPad 9 is the cheapest iPad with an official keyboard cover. While I find Apple's smart keyboard folio sufficient for occasional typing, it's not as good as the Pro Series Apple Magic Keyboard. And it doesn't work with the iPad 9. I find the Logitech keyboards for the iPad 9 more exciting, and if you want to work properly with the tablet, I would go for that one. On the software side, the iPad 9 is just as good as the Pro or Air. Apple offers the Smart Keyboard Folio for the iPad 9, which is more of a thin keyboard case. They also offer such a case for the Pro and Air, 
but it is mainly a case with a keyboard as a secondary function. You can get a real keyboard cover with the Logitech Combo Touch for iPad 9, which gives you a decent keyboard and touchpad. Keep in mind that iPadOS can now also be operated properly with a mouse and keyboard. Despite the low price, the iPad 9 belongs to the top class in one aspect, and that is its performance. It has an Apple A13 processor inside, which makes it more powerful than many Android tablets like the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7. That's impressive. Even games like PUBG Mobile can be played with the highest graphics settings. And fast multitasking is also possible. The 10.2-inch display is nice and bright with 500 nits and also has a decent resolution of 2160 by 1620 pixels. However, it is regrettable that the screen is not laminated. Thus, an air gap is visible between the IPS panel and the touchscreen. Many do not notice this and it is often not a big deal. However, it is annoying when writing or drawing with the Apple Pencil 1. The air gap makes it look as if you do not touch the screen directly. Although the iPad 9 has an old design, it has two good speakers, a Touch ID fingerprint reader, and a high-quality metal casing. As I said, I would rather use a third-party keyboard like the one from Logitech. At Number 6. Lenovo IdeaPad Duet 3i. The Lenovo IdeaPad Duet 3i is the cheapest Windows tablet that I can recommend. Especially for more demanding programs like Adobe Photoshop, the performance is rather too weak. However, it is quite usable as an office tablet, especially because it often only costs around 400 euros and the keyboard is included at this price. It is an exciting alternative to Lenovo's Duet Chromebook if you prefer to use Windows 11 instead of Chrome OS. Like the Surface Pro 8, the Duet 3i has a built-in folding stand. The keyboard cover is then connected magnetically and protects the display when folded. The screen is 10.3 inches large and the keyboard is correspondingly small. However, you can type on it as well as on the 11-inch Apple Magic Keyboard with a bit of getting used to. A touchpad is also installed. The Duet 3i runs Windows 11 Home in S-Mode. This means that only apps from the Microsoft Store can be installed out of the box. However, you can simply deactivate S-Mode and then install other programs as well. Thus, the small Windows tablet then behaves just like a Windows laptop. You can connect printers and other Windows accessories. An Intel Celeron N4020 dual-core processor or an Intel Pentium N5030 quad-core chip sits inside, depending on the version. There is also 4GB or 8GB of RAM and up to 128GB of internal storage. I had the cheapest version in the test and it is sufficient for simple office work. However, it is not a gaming tablet. I only find it good enough for office work and web browsing. The display is fine for its price. It is a 10.3-inch LCD with an aspect ratio of 1610 and a Full HD resolution of 1920 by 1200 pixels. If you want, you can write on the screen with an active stylus. However, I did not have it for my test and thus cannot say much about it. As I said, I think the performance is too weak for productive Photoshop work. 